Republicans have been going after abortion on all fronts. Planned Parenthood has been particularly vilified after a right-wing activist released a heavily doctored video supposedly showing its employees advising a pimp and an underage prostitute on how to get an abortion. Of course, it was all a hoax, but it gave Republicans like Congressman Mike Pence an excuse to introduce legislation to cut Planned Parenthood's funding. It's an outrage to me that employees of Planned Parenthood clinics across the country are facilitating the abuse of minor girls in this country. It should be a scandal to every American. The time has come to deny all federal funding to Planned Parenthood of America. Of course, an outrage. Of course, Pence's entire premise is based on a lie. But even so, Iowa Congresswoman, Congressman, I should say, that's funny, Steve King swears Pence's bill will make it all the way through the Democratic Senate. King said, quote, Harry Reid can defend those ghoulish and ghastly and gruesome practices that Planned Parenthood is advocating, along with child prostitution and illegal immigration. I didn't know Planned Parenthood did all that. He can play defense on that. They didn't do very well in the Senate when they tried to defend ACORN. I don't think they'll do any better this time. Did you notice that he mentioned ACORN? Because that's the same exact strategy they use. So what ties the attack against ACORN and the one against Planned Parenthood? Well, we're going to show you that tonight. This is the anatomy of a conservative hit job. Let me show you how it goes from fake sting videos to eventually cutting funding to these programs. First, you have to have a political environment that's con conducive to whipping up anger against whatever it is that you want to go after. Then a young conservative seeking attention from the media comes out with a supposedly damning sting video. Next, the right wing blogs pick it up and run with it. Then Fox News goes on the offensive, giving Republican legislators cover to pass draconian legislation. Conservatives used that model to take down ACORN in 2009. This is how they did it. When McCain and Palin lost the election in 2008, Republicans had to blame someone. So they pushed the storyline that ACORN stole the election for Obama, which, by the way, a shocking number of Republicans actually believe. The following year, conservative activist James O'Keefe released his hidden camera sting where ACORN was portrayed as having advised pimps on how to avoid taxes while engaging in child prostitution. The videos then went up on Andrew Breitbart's big government website, and the right-wing blogosphere went nuts with headlines like the ACORN Pimp Shielding Network, Big Government, ACORN, and Tax Advice for Underage Brothels, and ACORN Watch, Big Pimpin. Then step four, and this is critical, Fox News got in on the action. Yet another big development in the ACORN story. Two 20-somethings uh, do some real old-fashioned undercover investigative journalism. We continue with the pimp and the prostitute trying to get help from ACORN. An underage prostitution child abuse ring. Isn't this... Uh... Isn't this just some type of insane corruption? It's a remarkable criminal enterprise, isn't it? And finally, John Boehner introduced the Defund ACORN Act. After everybody got softened up, the Democratic House and Senate overwhelmingly voted in favor of it, and President Obama signed it. Total and utter victory for the Republicans. Then a few months later, ACORN disbanded. They didn't have enough money anymore. It didn't matter that the courts found that the Sting videos were heavily edited and the Government Accountability Office found that ACORN didn't mishandle any federal funds. The right-wing smear machine had already won. And now the same thing is happening again with Planned Parenthood. Republicans win in 2010 and want to pay back their most loyal voters for all those years of voting for them, social conservatives, who care most about one issue, abortion. Sure enough, shortly thereafter, James O'Keefe protege, Leela Rose, comes out with another doctored sting video of Planned Parenthood, complete with a pimp and a prostitute. Where have I seen this movie before? Enter Andrew Breitbart and company with headlines like this. Video, Leela Rose exposes another Planned Parenthood clinic breaking the law. Stopping the spin, top six Planned Parenthood deceptions. And defund the predators of Planned Parenthood. Next, like clockwork. Fox News picks up the reins. Almost every time one of these sting operations reveals gross malfeasance, at the very least, gross malfeasance. This is jaw-dropping. I do television every single day. This video, both of them, jaw-dropping to me. And you have these people saying, you know, look, I don't care if the girl's 13. We'll get around it. She'll come in. She'll get the abortion. Nobody will know about it. And, I mean, you're asking American taxpayers to foot the bill for that? I mean, it's outrageous. It's beyond That's politics. Right. It's just, it's outrageous. Of course, what's actually outrageous here is the amount of information the guys over at Fox are leaving out. First of all, 
by law, taxpayer money doesn't fund abortions. And second, Planned Parenthood didn't break the law. In fact, they turned the case over to the FBI. But with the coordinated right-wing effort to take down Planned Parenthood, facts are irrelevant. The target must be destroyed. And now Mike Pence is able to complete the cycle with his bill to cut Planned Parenthood's funding completely. So here we are again. Republicans want to take out Planned Parenthood. The question is, will the Democrats go along with it again? Or will they finally wise up to the game that's being played here? If they don't, you can bet your bottom dollar that the next GOP target will get a visit from a pimp and a prostitute with a hidden camera. NPR, watch your back.